In Dover, Delaware, around 19.7% of its citizens live below the poverty line. This is higher than the national average of 14%. Luckily, it's organizations like the Shepherd Place that provides assistance in these times of need. I do um, the funding and fundraisers for the Shepherd Place so that we can continue to bring in the money that we need. I also am the community spokesperson to raise awareness so that the community knows exactly who we are and where we are and what we do. I think Shepherd's Place has impacted people greatly. I think that the Shepherd Place is a, a place here and we allow the people to come in and not only are we a homeless shelter, but we provide it so that they can have a home. They they can have a safe place to be and they can get everything that they need. I've been in the Shepherd's Place since November 21st, 2018. Things really went downhill. You know, I couldn't afford my apartment. I couldn't afford the car. So um, I called the Housing Alliance number and I was sitting here through them. There are a few reasons why people wind up at our shelter. Um, one of them is mental health. Another is addiction. Another one is a lack of affordable housing and domestic violence. We take donations. We live off of donations. We are able to take in cleaning supplies. We take in food. Um, as long as it's not expired, we take in uh, clothing, shoes, anything that you live off of from day to day is exactly what we need here because we can take up to 30 people who are men, women, children or single ladies. We also need monetary donations. We definitely need monetary donations to continue to help us to survive. What do we do for fun? We like to play at the park. You like to play at the park? Yeah. You like to read the Bible with mommy? Yes. Okay, you like to play with your brother, right? Say yes? Yes. Okay. We take volunteers all the time. You just have to give us a phone call or come in to fill out the volunteer application. Being responsible for the well-being of others besides myself is a difficult task because often you wonder Hi, if you're you? doing a good job, if you're doing the right thing, if you're continuing to uh, meet the needs of the people. But I think at the end of the day, uh, the reward is greater than what the struggle is. The Shepherd Place houses around 500 clients per year, half of which are children. This is helpful because it contributes to the 1,000 people homeless at a given time during the year in Delaware. For the people that's in the shoes that you know I'm walking out of, I would say don't come here looking to be pacified. They're not going to babysit you, they're not going to pray to you, and they're not going to sugarcoat anything. Like I said, you have to come here wanting the help. You know, my, my first time here, you know, I wasn't ready. But you know, when I finally decided to put my head on straight and, you know, decided I really, I'm, I'm ready to stop wanting and to stop yes, needing, yes, you know, yes. it, it's a great push. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm going to say. It's a push. They will push you to do better, but they're not going to do it for you. I would say my favorite part about the Shepherd's Place is no, no, the new family I've been, right you know, because Shepherd's Place is just that. You know, I, I tell all the employees I love them before they go home. I tell the other residents I love them before they go to bed, you know, we watch TV together, we decorate the Christmas tree, we cook together, you know, it's, it's very family oriented, you know, we're, we're family, it's a family, I, this is my new family. For PBS Student Reporting Labs, I'm Justin Washington in Dover, Delaware.